hi everyone this is irec welcome to this tutorial still on the view series in our previous video we talked about perspective section view in revit um and i'm going to leave the link of that video in the description box of this video or you can find it on the card above please do well to refer to that video for better understanding now in this tutorial we are going to be exploring the dynamic view we are um we are going to be looking at different other ways of presenting your work in a professional manner such as the isometric view orient to a plan just like you have it here or orient to a plane so we are going to be exploring that and also how to blend the visual style and the visibility graphics in order to present your work in a professional way but just before we get started i'd like to ask you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel because it helps me a lot and also you're going to get notification each time we upload videos like this because we make tutorials like this every week and then make sure you hit the like button so that more people can see and benefit from this video um having said that let's get started all right in today's lesson we want to begin by going to my project browser so if i click on this plus sign here i just have two different 3d views here this is camera view and this is my 3d default view so i come to the 3d default view and right click and then duplicate so here i'm having two views this is the default view and this is the duplicated view so i can go ahead and rename it of course you can't save anything there without deleting the bracket sign there i can call this 3d duplicated view now i'm going to be using this for all the uh, examples we are going to be showing here to turn this into a perspective view instead of picking a camera and going to my 2d level one presentation i can just come here under this 3d view and come to property panel here and then somewhere here you can see your projection mode we see orthographic and then if you click down you see perspective select the perspective i've turned this view right now into a perspective view just click anywhere to deactivate that if i come to this small arrow on the view cube here either on any point you right click this dialog box comes up so if you go orient to floor plan so i can just select um level one presentation of course here you can see i have level one presentation if you check my project browser you are also going to see the same thing level one presentation and level two presentation now the previous video we had will explain it better actually level one presentation is the duplicated copy of the level one of course is actually a template because we created a template and added a template that's why i say refer to that video is on the description box of this video as well so i am just going to go level one presentation so with this you can decide to um export it and show it to your client there are other ways we can show this off okay first of all i want to check if there's anything missing because i hide things a lot is supposed to have come up with a section box so let me just try to unhide some things of course this is the section box so i select it and i select unhide not because we need it right now but we will need it soon so so what i want to do if you want to display this in isometric view what you have to do is to go back there this time around you come to orient to a direction so you can choose any isometric view you want so here i have southeast isometric view so let's try this out see the way it's now presented but i don't like the way this is looking i can present it this way to clients so i have to come back to my properties panel and turn this perspective into orthographic and then you can see it's now properly positioned okay this section box is going to be useful to us right now now if i take you to 
south elevation, I would like you to take note of the fact that my level 1 is not my foundation level. The foundation level, as you can see, is 600 millimeters below the level 1. So that section box actually cut that plan from the level 1. So the foundation is not inclusive. But I want to include the foundation to what we have there. So I go back. In order to include that, what I have to do is to select this section box. Now looking at this tiny arrow above, we have the one above, we have the one below. So the one beneath right now, if you drag this one down here and bring it down a bit, you can see now it has covered the foundation and the foundation is out. Now let's try turning this into maybe shaded. Now looking at the plan very well, you could see our shelf right now, which you never knew existed. And then the dining you could see, you could see the staircase coming from this point to this point and then continuous. But the section box actually cut some part of the stairs. So this is our sitting room and the rest of them. So whatever you want to see at this point, this is the kitchen island and so forth and so on this right now you can present it to your client now the section box if you actually want to present this you won't be doing that with the section box so the best thing to do is to just go ahead and you right click on it you say hide element so you've hidden that otherwise if you want to come to this point to uncheck the section box it means you're going to undo what we have done already or we can try it when you check on it you have undone what we've done so at uh, this point i like to go back to to view level one presentation we are going to go to our level two presentation okay now what is our level two and where is our level two located so our level 2 is the second floor of this building actually before the slab up there is the level 2 the slab is on top of the level 2 so we are going to go back to that view and then here we come orient to view plan and then level 2 presentation we return here and orient to a direction let's this time around let's go to southwest isometric and we have it there i can drag this further and then you can see we are now at the top of the floor so this is second floor this actually is the master's bedroom you can see the door to the toilet and then this is the other room and this is a door leading to the toilet and their wardrobes are all there so this is actually the office so this glass door leading to the office you can actually see it clearly here than the way it was looking before now at this point also with the help of the section box if you want to include the down part of the building you can just select your section box and drag this from this point and bring it down okay you can see that you have covered everything from down to that point and you can actually present this like this as well by exporting it now to do some more work in case you need to do some things about the graphics click anywhere on an empty space this is our graphic display so if you go edit you can just check these smooth lines and apply it okay and then again if you're not okay with the shadows you can come to lighting all right and then you choose um, maybe here in session lighting you might like the lighting to come from the top right all right and you click on it and apply so you will notice the movement of the shadows also changed and if you want it to come from the left also and then once you apply it you could see the changes so the light in this time around is coming from the left side going towards this way all right but um, i prefer it coming from the right so i just hit apply then i say okay and then the shadow the sun is at 30 percent let me increase it to at least halfway okay let's just leave it there then the shadow is 50 then i apply 
if that's okay by you you can go ahead and export it or you render it then again you can also go to your visibility graphics or you type vg for visibility graphics so here let's go to our model categories our walls are turn this to half tone okay and then you apply and say okay so if we are to export this the way it is right now all i have to do is just select this right click we hide it and then i go file export image and then i can change the location let it be on my desktop 110 so it's been successfully exported or maybe it's not exporting you want maybe what you want is just to render it all you have to do is to crop the view the moment you have a crop region like this bring this close from this drag point so from these drag points you can just then um, decide to render this view okay now again if we go back to the style the model display style as you can see you have here as wireframe there is no need for wireframe when you're trying to blend this whole thing because wireframe is actually used for troubleshooting uh, your model so we don't need it here and i'm also going to make a video and show you exactly where wireframe is needed so hidden lines we actually place the thing in a white background you can actually decide to present it this way which is also not bad or maybe shaded which we have always been on and there is no need turning it into realistic because it will slow down your system and apply so this is for consistent colors so um it all depends on you so the shortcut of uh, the graphic display setting that we went to here is you can just click here and then click on any of them these are the shortcuts so for the uh, shadows you can turn it on and off from this point so this is it for this tutorial i want to thank you for watching this video and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to this channel for more revit tips see you in the next video